What's up, guys? So a couple people have been wondering how I set up a throttle curve on my radio uh, and why I do it. Um, when I run 5-inch quads, um, I've got 2307, 2722 kV motors, and um, when I'm running on 5S, 5 inch is no problem. I got full range of the throttle. Everything is happy. Uh, when I run 6 inch props on the exact same setup quad, um, I have a lot of current draw at the top end of the throttle that is pretty much doing nothing for me except drawing excessive amounts of current. So I run a throttle curve to basically chop off the top of the throttle range. That way I have more stick resolution. I can ram the stick all the way to full throttle while I'm flying and never have to worry about uh, excessive current draw. Um, it's really not giving me that much more thrust for the amount of current that it's pulling. So here we go. Let's uh, turn the Tyrannus on. <clears throat> we will go into the menu. Um, we'll page over to the curves page, uh, page 8. Uh, you can see right now I've got a throttle curve set up. So we'll go down here, we'll go to uh, another curve, we'll start from scratch. Um, press enter to go into there, we'll just give it a, a quick name real quick, just to identify it. Um, okay, we'll back out of that. Uh, we'll turn smooth on so the curve has a nice smooth curve to it, it's not just straight lines from point to point. Uh, we'll go over here. Um, and we'll just start changing values and give ourselves a nice linear curve to start with. So I'll drop that down to negative 100. This will go down to oh, about 50. That stays in the center. Shoot that up to plus 50. And this one goes to plus 100. So now basically what you have is just a straight linear run. It's not a curve at all. Um, <clears throat> so this will be zero throttle and this will be 100% throttle. And it will be a completely linear movement all the way across the, the range of the throttle stick. So what I do is I'll come up here to this top point And in my curve I have it set down to pretty much 70% of max throttle. And then I just come down here and I play with these other values to kind of smooth it out. I mean, you don't really have to do a whole lot. Um, depending on how you want it to feel, it's all up to you. So you can play with these individual points and get whatever kind of wacky curve you want to uh, make your power band feel nice. So uh, once you have the curve set up how you want, you'll exit out of this page. Um, you'll go back over to your inputs page uh, where you see you've got all your channels here and I will press and hold enter on the throttle channel go to edit and I'll come down here to where it says curve make sure it's on custom and then I'll go over here and it will allow you to select those curves in your curve page so whichever one you have set up, you can choose. Um, for me, I've got my throttle curve set up as THR, and so there you go. It's pretty simple. Now uh, I'm limited to about 75% of the max output, and whenever I'm running 6-inch props, I never have to worry about pulling too much current. Um, that's just completely unnecessary. Uh, another use for that would be guys that are having problems with props that are flattening out uh, when they're at full throttle. You can use this to pretty much chop off the top of your throttle so you never have to worry about your props flattening out when you're in flight. Um, it's pretty much just tuning your setup to the equipment that you have. Every component is different from one another. You know, we tune our PIDs um, to basically match for the components that we're running, this is really no different. Uh, it's just one more step in the tuning process. So um, yeah, there you go. I guess I can uh, page over and show you the outputs where 
My throttle channel now only goes up to pretty much 67.6% of the output instead of going all the way up to 100. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I still have full power in the air. It's all, uh, it's all relative. So I hope that wasn't confusing at all. Um, I'm by no means an expert in this tutorial crap, but I figured I'd throw it out there just to give you guys a little help, show you how I did it. So uh, yeah, there's that. Go ahead and rip.